Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my shop and a short video on the fabrication of a lapping tool. The lapping tool will sit on an arbor, which is shown here, with the conical part in the center. And the actual lap is shown here, the blue part is sitting on the conical part of the arbor. The shape of the tool allows it to expand a little bit so that it can be pushed onto the conical part of the arbor by means of a piece of tubing which is shown here and the tubing is pushed against the lapping tool by means of a washer and a bolt and a nut shown here. So this allows the lapping tool to expand if you exert pressure against the tubing. So let's start making the lapping tool. The material is a piece of uh, cast iron. So I just face it and turn the outside diameter to roughly 38 millimeters. This is not critical because I'm just roughing here. The exact diameter will be determined later and uh, will be turned to exactly 37 millimeters on the arbor later. So here I'm cleaning up the opposite face and the outside diameter. All this isn't really critical at the moment. Now I'm using the compound slide to turn the conical inner diameter. I just left the setting of the compound slide as I used it uh, to turn the conical part of the arbor so that I am uh, very close to the correct angle of the cone here. The actual angle is not super critical because the lapping tool is able to expand a little bit. So I checked the fit with some marking pen. It's not perfect, but it will be sufficient for the application. So now this is a setup to drill the longitudinal holes into the lapping tool. I had to drill 12 holes, which are 30 degrees apart.
Now I'm drilling to about 4 millimeters. So all holes finished and now the interesting part, the shaping of the slots. I first started with a regular parting insert, which was about 2 mm wide. I clamped it into a boring bar, but that did not work too well. It required considerable force and the clamping didn't work very well, it wasn't very stable. So it worked somehow, but I wasn't really happy. That's why I ground my own cutter, which was only about one millimeter wide. But this worked really well. It required very little force. I just used the handle of the quill. The forward motion was done with the x-axis. So I shaped every other slot. Just touching off first. On the left hand side you can see 
the first slot, which is slightly wider than the others, done with my home ground tool. So the six inner slots are done and uh, now I'm switching to the outer slots. So this is the first of the six outer slots. I checked with a piece of paper if the slot was finished, which wasn't the case here, so it required a few more passes. Almost finished. So now three of the outer slots are done and I indexed the work um, with my tool so that it stayed in position, loosened the chucks and turned 
um, the chuck by 60 degrees. Then I tightened up the jaws again. So the work is still in the original place, but the chuck has been rotated by 60 degrees. I retract the tool and turn the work by 60 degrees again. So now I'm ready to shape the remaining three slots. Yeah, I should have tightened the jaws a little bit more or uh, use some kind of sacrificial material to stabilize the setup a little bit. This wasn't ideal, uh, but the dimensions aren't critical. So this is the last slot. So this is the final result. It is not perfect, but it will do the job. Here you see the actual lab mounted on the arbor. I turned it down to 37mm mounted on the arbor so that I got a very smooth surface. Here is the actual setup for the lapping. The bronze bushing on the right hand side guides the arbor within the tubing so that the bearings, which will be spindle bearings, will be aligned in the housing. This worked pretty well. So I'm quite happy with the result. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video.